Hello everyone, I'm Dr. Priya Sipaha. Today in this video, I'm going to discuss important provisions of POCSO Act Part 3. In my first two video, I have already explained objective of the Act, duties of police, reporting of offenses, recording of statement, medical examination, and some other provisions like obligation and procedure of media. In this video, we will discuss special court and what is the procedure of the court. First one is special court. Now what is special court and why this special court is created or formed? Basically for the purpose of speedy trial of child sexual abuse, Supreme Court has already given the guidelines that there must be a special court which is basically a court of session but with the consultation with the chief justice of high court in every district it is necessary that there must be a special court for these type of cases provided that particular session code is already notified as a children's court under the poxo act or it is already designated for the similar purpose then only that court of session could be considered as a special court for this purpose and that too with the consultation of Chief Justice of the High Court. Next is Special Public Prosecutor. The state government shall appoint public prosecutor and the eligibility of public prosecutor is he or she must be a public prosecutor within the meaning of clause U of section 2 of CRPC and the provision of that court shall have effect accordingly. Secondly, it is necessary that whoever is a public prosecutor, he must have seven years of experience as an advocate. Now procedure and powers of special court. One of the important power of special court is that the special court can take the cognizance of any offenses. Here any offenses means any offenses related to child sexual abuse. They may take the cognizance without the accused being committed to it for trial or upon receiving a complaints of fact or upon a police report of such facts. Secondly, the special public prosecutor or the counsel who is appearing for the accused. It is duty of the counsel while recording the examination of in chief, cross examination or re-examination of the child. He must communicate the questions to be put to the child to the special court shall in turn put those questions to the child so that the child could be comfortable enough. Then third is the special court may if they find or they think that it is necessary they may permit frequent break during the trial because the child may be in trauma. Then fourth is special court shall create a child family environment for that they may call and give the permission to the parents or any other person with whom a child is comfortable then the special court shall ensure that the child is not called repeatedly to testify in the court some other provisions are that uh, the special court shall not permit any aggressive question or the character assassination of the child and he the special court must ensure that dignity of child must always be maintained during the trial that is the priority secondly it is also a duty of a special court that the identity of the child should not be disclosed until and unless it is necessary and it is permitted by the special court only for the benefit or the in the interest of the child then if a special court finds appropriate then they may apart from uh, giving the punishment to the accused they may also uh, direct the payment of such compensation as they it may be prescribed in the act for any physical or mental trauma of the child and also for immediate rehabilitation of such child Apart from some routine procedure of the trial, there are some important provision during trial for the special court. 
the first one is the evidence of the child shall be taken by the special court within 30 days and if there is any delay then the statement should be recorded with reason by the special court secondly the special court shall complete the trial as far as possible within one year from the date of taking cognizance of the offense because this is a procedure of a speedy trial then third the special court shall ensure that during the recording of evidence the child should not be exposed in any way to the accused at the time of recording of evidence while at the same time the court should also ensure that the accused is in a position to hear the statement of the child and communicate it with his advocate then for these purposes the special court may record the statement of the child through either video conferencing or by utilizing single visible mirror or curtain or any other such devices some other important provisions first of all the special court should try the cases in front of the camera and also in front of the parents of the child and if by any chance child is not comfortable with his parents due to any reason maybe by the fear or maybe any other reason then any other person with whom the child is comfortable or have a confidence or trust secondly if necessary while recording the evidence of the child court may uh, take the assistance of any translator or interpreter similarly whenever there is a case of any mental disability or physical disability then also the court can take the assistance of any person who is having a knowledge of that particular language or who is a, who is familiar of that language so this is the end of third part of important provisions of poxo act hope you like the video and if you like it do not forget to hit the like button and subscribe my channel you may also get important notes on my website that is priyasipaha.com and follow me on other social media thank you for watching see you soon bye bye